What's the largest engineering works in Ireland? Which engineering complex employs one of the most highly skilled workforces in the country? Turns over the greatest amount of revenue and has been in operation without a break since 1846. Nearly 150 years. The answer is Erin Road Erin, Irish Rail's modern engineering headquarters at Inchicore in Dublin. In 1834, Ireland's first railway, the Dublin to Kingstown, later called Dunleary, made railway history for being the first suburban commuter rail line in the world. Railway travel in Ireland proved immensely popular, and many different railway companies were formed to provide passenger and goods services. In 1846, one of the most important of the new railway companies the Great Southern and Western Railway opened the first rail engineering works in Inchicore in Dublin. The main buildings were built of limestone with distinctive architectural features such as this tower, built for the use of a lookout signalman whose duty was to watch the movement of trains coming up the line from the city. As the importance of rail travel grew, so did Ireland's largest engineering works. By the early 1900s, the workshops here at Inchicore covered almost the whole area that comprises the complex today, over 73 acres of land. In those early days, more than 2,000 craftsmen and apprentices were employed in the building, repairing and maintenance of steam locomotives, carriages and goods wagons. At Inchicore were built engines that were the pride of Ireland's railway engineers. They ranked among the great locomotives of the steam era. Here's one of them, the Maeve, being inspected by young admirers just prior to retirement from service. The early 50s saw important changes which revolutionised not only rail travel, but work patterns at Inchicore. The replacement of steam by diesel engines meant that from now on we would no longer be required to build our own locomotives. But the skills of expert craftsmen were still required to keep the new diesel engines repaired and maintained. Spare parts had to be manufactured and the old traditional skills kept alive. Throughout its history, Inchicores had a particular reputation for expert carriage building. Today, with the aid of the most up-to-date computer-aided technology, we are building carriages for the 21st century. Our operations are spread over several distinct key areas. Not only do we have the responsibility of manufacturing and maintaining all of Ireland's trains, we also manufacture parts used for the maintenance of the track throughout every part of the country. We provide the most modern facilities for the repair and maintenance of the bus Arclea and bus Aaron fleets. And in addition, as we are in the forefront of technology, our expertise is much sought after by other government and semi-state bodies, such as the Electricity Supply Board and Board Nomona, for whom we carry out specialist contract work. Our expertise is sold out to private industry too, for example in the certification of containers. Our six main areas of activity include one of Europe's most modern carriage building complexes, precision manufacturing of new components, locomotive maintenance, carriage maintenance, bus maintenance, and sophisticated stores control. Carriage building to bring Erin Road Erin into the 21st century. Even the most modern technology starts on the drawing board. The shell for each carriage is assembled. Once the shell starts to take shape, 
insulation and wiring are installed and tested. Minute attention is given to underneath the carriage. These are the parts passengers don't often think much about, but which ensure the comfort of a smooth journey. There's the sophisticated suspension and braking systems with components from the USA, from Germany and Britain. 90 miles per hour running demands the best. In the upholstery shop, the seats are being prepared. Ergonomically designed, our seating ensures that passengers remain comfortable throughout longer journeys. The air conditioning and heating units, once installed, are tested. No longer any need to open a window. Air nowadays is controlled by a microchip. The automatic doors also undergo tests. Flooring follows. And then the seats are placed in position. Next, off to the paint shop, and the carriage is beginning to look almost ready for the first passengers. Our paint standards are such that carriages not only have to look well, they have to stand up to a tough existence. They're out in all weathers and need a thorough wash down every day, so paintwork has to be durable. Paintwork finished, some final tests, and a new carriage is ready for service. Now, carriages, no matter how technically innovative, won't move by themselves. What's needed is a powerful, reliable locomotive. Reliability doesn't come about by accident. It's due to consistent and efficient inspection and maintenance. Did you know that a locomotive can pull up to 1,000 tons? And if you added up the distance travelled by all of our engines in a whole year, it would total more than 10 million miles. In order to keep our engines in tip-top condition, each locomotive is brought into Incha Corps at regular intervals for extensive testing and overhaul. They are subject to a routine check after each journey. They also undergo major maintenance, which can involve various routines, such as taking out the engine, checking the components, including the electrical elements, and replacing everything from the wheels to the main generator. In our carriage repair and maintenance division, thorough routine checks are carried out on everything. Dart carriages, intercity carriages, goods wagons, bogies are replaced and wheels honed down to a thousandth of an inch degree by a precision wheel lathe. Keeping a train out of service is expensive, so a fast turnaround is essential. Specialized maintenance can now be carried out by an undercarriage lathe which operates without actually requiring the removal of the wheels from the carriage or wagon. Both cost-effective and time-saving. And all of this work is carried out here at Inchicore, day in, day out, week in and week out, so that our railway services can run efficiently and safely. So now to our next division. The maintenance of the bus are clear and bus air and fleets. Everything is looked after here, from a complete new bus body to a large or small repair or maintenance job, or even a new set of upholstered seats. As with the railway repair and maintenance shops, the basic materials are prepared here in Inchicor by experienced and skilled craftsmen, many of whom have been trained in our own apprentice school. Our award-winning apprentices are much sought after by outside firms when qualified, a testimony of the high caliber of training received. As we've seen, the variety and complexity of the activities here at Inchicore obviously need a guiding hand. 
And that guiding hand is in the person of Ironwood Aaron's chief mechanical engineer, Mr. Richard Granger. How does he see our Inchicore operation? Well, the way I see the operation of Inchicore uh, is based really on my own experience of working in Inchicore over the last 30 years or more. And uh, during that time, I have enjoyed uh, the changes that have come about in the railway system from the traditional steam days to the most modern uh, of uh, railway technology on our DART system. And uh, it's been a great pleasure always to work here with the people here uh, and to be so confident in their skills and their adaptability in uh, coping with these very many changes and challenges that have come before us. Uh, we were fortunate in the past and continue to be fortunate that our people are adaptable and even though trained in older skills are well able to cope with the new challenges that new technology and the new equipment place before them. Um, and it is from this background of tradition uh, that we offer ourselves as people who can be of assistance to clients who might wish to come for us for the kind of advice that uh, I feel we are uniquely equipped to provide. So, that's Inchicore, a place where you'll find a wide range of the most modern skills and expertise at every level. From the care that goes into the training of our young apprentices who come here to learn and who, armed with the latest technology, will continue to pass on our fine tradition. To the dedication of our engineers and technicians and the finely tuned knowledge of our craftsmen who each take pride in their individual skills. Others working quietly behind the scenes are no less important. Our accounts sections, office staff and operatives. Our research people. Our storekeepers and secretaries. All of whom, in the end, add up to just one thing, one team based on that tradition which has made our modern plant at Inchicore what it is. The very heart of Irn Roderan.